Well, good morning. I'm waiting for the thing to block to come up and say that it, there's no audio, but it, it hasn't come up yet. Anyway, the title for today's uh, talk is The German Christman Healer, Bruno Groening. Not many years after the turn of the 20th century, an amazing healer was born named Bruno Groening. I may have heard of him before, but it never registered like it did yesterday. Wow, what a story. And his followers will be in Florida next month. Yes, I will be there the week before Thanksgiving, right here in Melbourne, Florida. Today I'm going to share a little bit of his story. If you want to know more, here are introductory links, which of course I provide in the blurb. And the blurb will be a little bit extra long today because I'm also adding uh, the following. Uh, Bruno Groening, uh, an extraordinary person. In 1949, the name Bruno Groening became a household word in Germany overnight. Reports about him appeared in the press, in newsreels, and on the radio. Events surrounding the miracle doctor, as he soon came to be called, kept the whole country in suspense. A film was made about him. Scientific investigation committees were set up and government authorities at the highest level gave the case of Bruno Groening their attention. The Minister of Social, uh, Minister for Social Affairs in North Rhine-Westphalia had him prosecuted for violating the law for non-medical practitioners, while Minister President of Bavaria declared that one could not let such an exceptional occurrence as Groening uh, founder because of a few paragraphs on paper. The Bavarian Ministry of the Interior labeled his work a labor of love free of charge. The case was violently and controversially debated by everyone at all levels of society. Emotions ran high. Clergymen, physicians, journalists, politicians, and psychologists Everyone spoke about groaning. Some considered his miraculous healings a gift of grace from a higher power, others charlatanism. But the reality of the healings was confirmed by medical examinations. Indeed, the story was amazing. And uh, as naive as I am, when I first got the invitation, I thought he was going to appear in person, not realizing that he died you know, a long time ago. <laughs> I forget the year, 1959, something, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't very long after he started going, uh, doing his public ministry. Uh, but it impressed me right off the bat, and I watched actually about four or five different videos uh, about him by other people. Uh, of course, it's all by other people. But the thing is, he actually seems in spirit to, to show up at these events and uh, exactly how that occurs I don't know but I've listened to the testimony of those that have witnessed it and I'd like the opportunity to witness it for myself uh, I'd like to see uh, if it doesn't clear up before then I'd like to see the numbness in my feet be healed uh, I'd like to see the inflammation uh, that flares up from time to time on my nose especially that's been going on for years I'd like to I'd like to see that disappear and my skin be normal again there are I mean those those are really the only physical issues that I that I'm aware of having uh, of course I've had the heart surgery and stuff like that and if anything that could be done to uh, heal my heart even more from the, all the surgeries and stuff that would be much appreciated as well. I do not accept that the way the status quo is, is the way it's supposed to be. I'm sorry, if I had accepted that, I would have probably not, I'd probably not be here now making videos. Uh, I believe there's a higher calling and a higher purpose, not just for me, but for all of us. We all are destined to become conscious children of the living God, sons and daughters who are empowered with gifts, talents, and abilities 
far beyond what we've experienced in a system that thrives on limiting us. It has made its millions of dollars uh, in controlling our consciousness and awareness so that we think less of ourselves than what the reality is. Again, we are children of the living God. We have a lot of abilities that we do not even tap into because we don't believe we can. I want to awaken that in me more and more and I'd like to help awaken it in other people. That's why I make videos. That's why I do the things that I do. I want to inspire people to reach out and to be more and to do more and to act on things that have been promised to us but which have been undermined by doubts and and practices that uh, complement non-belief. Now it was interesting that the establishment, especially the doctors and the lawyers and stuff like that, were up in arms about this man healing people for free. I mean he wasn't even charging money for what he did. Now some of his followers, they charge money for the events, uh, but that was not how he did it. And he didn't take any money for himself. He lived a simple life and had all that he needed to get by day by day. And when he went to court and everything and was found guilty, I mean, he was found guilty of practicing medicine without a license. Oh, I mean, what a crime. What a crime. <laughs> because the establishment is hell-bent on keeping the system going that they can rob us of millions and millions of dollars every which way, including health issues. None of them need to keep going on. And I mean, even people who are spiritual people still buy into the medical establishment's lies. Uh, I'd like myself personally not to be buying into it. I'd like not to be taking the prescription drugs, not at all. Not at all. I don't mind taking supplements and vitamins and stuff like that, although ultimately I'd like to be able to get all of this from breathing and from eating, if I even need to eat anymore. I mean, I don't believe that the, where, the way I am right now is my final uh, appearance, if you will, my final incarnation of, of, of abilities. I believe that there's, that there's more to be tapped into. And that more and that reason for, and purpose for being is what keeps me going. It's what makes things uh, happen in my life and in my world. It's why I, why I survived a, a serious operation and why I've survived some of the trauma that I've had to go through even after the operation with heart attacks and shortness of breath and other symptoms that were very, very challenging to say the least. And I've gone through those things and I'm still going through and enduring uh, a whole lot of things. I'm, I'm, I've taken my life back and I'd like to see humanity take our life back. I'd like to see us get to the place where we can be what we were created to be and stop the establishment from trying to hinder that. I mean, it's, 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 in, it's absolutely insane to me that people try to maintain the monetary system when those of us that know better realize that it's a, it's a slavery system. It's based on lies. It's not even real money. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say in, in, in this video today. I'm going to wrap it up. But I encourage those of you that feel so led to take the time to watch uh, some of the things about uh, this man. And those of you that live in my local area, I hope to be able to see you at this event here in Melbourne uh, in uh, November. So thanks again for listening and namaste.